Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Imuna Project. We here at the Imuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice. I want to speak uh, a moment about uh, one of the great characteristics uh, of the greatest prophet, um, Moshe Rabbeinu, Moses. Um, most people, when they talk about his personal characteristics, emphasize his humility, his modesty. He was the most humble of persons. He never, he always was like, you know, self-deprecating and didn't want glory or fame. Um, I'm going to concentrate on another, his sensitivity, his, his empathy to others. For the first 80 years of his life, the only moments that the Torah points out of Moses were in his compassion for people. He, um, he, uh, he saves someone from the murderous hands of, uh, uh, of his oppressors. He interrupts, uh, he interferes with, with a fight. He, when the Midianites are, are oppressing Yisro, Jethro's uh, daughters, he intervenes with them. And it's like the height of his career at this point was being a shepherd. It seems counterintuitive. A shepherd is a relatively lowly position in society, but if you look at it, our greatest leaders were shepherds. Jacob, the patriarch, was a shepherd. King David, a shepherd. Um, but he showed in his, in his character a very important trait that a leader must have. There's a medrash which says, that at one point he was tending a flock and a young sheep, a lamb, uh, ran off, scampered off, and he went to drink at a nearby stream. The Medrash continues that Moses followed the sheep and he actually apologized. He said, I didn't realize that you were so thirsty and you ran all this way, you must be tired too. And so he picked up the sheep, put the lamb over his shoulders, and uh, says, come, I will carry you. When the Creator saw this, this in a long series of events in his life, showing uh, the compassion and a sensitivity and, uh, and empathy, but also the ability to act on it, he said, this is the one. He is very good at leading this flock. He is now worthy to lead my flock, the Jewish people. Uh, when, again, another aspect of empathy, when the Creator basically offers him the job to go save the Jewish people, Moses is very reluctant. He doesn't want to do it. Um, now, it's one thing to be modest, and, but, if, but with respect to his sensitivity, doesn't he realize that the more and more he delays, the more and more the Jewish people are suffering in Egypt? Come on, I mean... The reason was this. His older brother, Aaron. Moses felt that Aaron should deserve the position of leading the Jewish people out, not him. That's why the sages, some sages say, he delayed. It was a result of the sympathy, the uh, sympathy, the sensitivity, the empathy he had for uh, Aaron's. He didn't want to hurt Aaron's feelings, and it was a big point with Moses. So even if if you're going to do a great, great uh, mitzvah, it shouldn't come at the cost. Of committing a sin. You shouldn't have a mitzvah as the result of an avera, a sin. Um, this was uh, the second great point of Moses' character. Not only his extreme humility, he was the most humble of all people in the world, but this sensitivity, this caring that he had um, any leader should have this. A leader, uh, an elder, 
a parent, a teacher, someone who can apologize for any deficiency they feel in themselves. This is a real lesson, um, not only in, in, in humility, but it's a prerequisite for leadership. Like Moses apologize, apologizing to the sheep because, oh, I, I didn't realize you were th so thirsty. Oh, you must be so tired. This shows a quality of leadership that is very, very important. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope you're finding these videos of some use and some benefit to you. And until next time, on behalf of the Amona Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.